From the mesmerizing vibranium powered suits to the futuristic weapons and gadgets, the world of Wakanda is also full of real life technology. Welcome to Galore Techs. In this video, we will explore the real life science and engineering that inspired the Black Panthers movies, cutting edge designs, and how it became the celebrated MCU franchise. Subscribe and stay tuned to learn about the tech that went into producing this incredible movie. Black Panther was a groundbreaking film that made history in many ways. Not only did it break box office records and had a revenue of a whopping $1.38 billion, but it also challenged traditional Hollywood conventions by featuring a predominantly black cast and crew. In Hollywood, you hardly see movies with such a huge representation of artists of color. This representation in mainstream media helped to pave the way for greater diversity in the film industry. In fact, Black Panther proved to be a 90% black cast that serves this purpose. They also utilized cutting edge technology to bring the fictional African nation of Wakanda to life. From the intricate costumes to the stunning special effects, the film used state-of-the-art techniques to create a visually stunning and immersive world. The Black Panther suit and Wakanda's Kimoyo beads are two of the most technologically advanced creations in the movie. In the movie, the suit was made up of a vibranium weave, a rare metal found only in Wakanda. That provides immense durability and can absorb kinetic energy from powerful blows to use when needed. In reality, Ruth Carter worked with developer Dorotka Sapinska to come up with the suit's idea and about 25 Marvel illustrators aided in bringing their design to life. The suit used a special form of screen printing done onto a stretch fabric in order to have a three-dimensional quality. Many fictional technologies seen in the film are inspired by real-life technological innovations. Remember the high-speed magnetic levitation subway that runs through Wakanda's enormous vibranium mine? It seems eerily similar to the Hyperloop, a high-speed vacuum-powered railway that Elon Musk claims will one day transport passengers from New York to the capital in under 30 minutes. Meanwhile, the interesting-looking Kimoyo beads are a multifunctional piece of technology made of the same vibranium metal that can be used for communication, navigation, and for medical purposes. You can compare this technology to real-world smartphones and watches. The floating 3D displays are not far from becoming a reality either. While it may not be as advanced as the Kimoyo Beats holograms, Microsoft is working on portation, in which users will be able to project a full-body likeness of themselves to a remote location, that which can see, hear, and interact with others as if they are actually present in the room. Another cool power of the Beats is that they can remotely control and pilot a vehicle, much like the remote-controlled drones of the real world. Not simply a fashion statement, those Kamoyo beads serve a larger purpose. Like a mobile device, the Kamoyo beads act as a gateway to Wakanda's own version of the Internet of Things, the IoT. IoT is the network of physical devices, vehicles, appliances, and other items embedded with electronics, software, sensors, and connectivity that enables these objects to connect and exchange data. They can access video files and receive broadcasts on any frequency. It can also communicate with other Kimoyo beads like a cell phone. And if the Wakandans move their hand in a form of sign language, they can even send text messages. It even has advanced features like personal security or even geo-tracking. But what really made this movie a cinematic masterpiece? The success of Black Panther can be attributed to various factors, but one of the most significant was its cultural impact. The film featured African culture and traditions resonating deeply with audiences worldwide. This representation was something that many people had been waiting to see for a long time, and it brought a sense of pride and joy to many viewers. They even calibrated the film release with Black History Month in February of 2018, which helped to build further excitement and anticipation. In addition to its groundbreaking representation, starting with the production initiation. It was in 2005 that Marvel chairman and CEO Avi Arad announced that Black Panther was one of the 10 movies that they had in the pipeline. The main lead, Chadwick Boseman, was the first selected to be Black Panther in 2014. Later in 2016, Ryan Coogler was confirmed as the director. For a true African representation, the filmmakers had to do a hell of a lot of research. The team extensively researched the African traditions, cultures, language, and history to really incorporate the real elements in the movie. They wanted to create a vision of Africa that was not defined by poverty or conflict, but instead celebrated the continent's beauty, diversity, and strength. The movie shows a lot of technology, but there's even more behind the scenes. The movie was shot mainly on Ari Alexa XT Plus cameras in a mostly two camera setup in open gate raw format, and the lenses used were spherical Panavision Primos. The shoot started in January 2017 in Atlanta with the visually stunning car chase scene done in Busan, South Korea. The cinematographer, Rachel Morrison, found lighting to be the most difficult part of creating this scene, but executed it perfectly. The visual effects for the film were handled by industrial 
Marvel Light and Magic ILM. Unlike other Marvel movies, here, the department had to be more specific, as they had to be authentic to African culture and its geography. Most of the background and scenery you see in the film are computer generated. If you have seen the movie, you must have been impressed with the climactic battle scene. The rhinos were a 100% work of CGI. That's right, no rhinos were harmed in the making of this sequence. The visual effects team had to get the animal's locomotion just right so it didn't give away the fact that they were not real. The rhinos were brought to life using animatronics and prosthetics which gave the actors something to interact with on the set. And the pivotal scene where we see Black Panther emerging from the wreckage of the Dragon Flyer, is Bozeman actually rising onto a couple of foam blocks. Then they went ahead and added the layers of the sky, ground, wreckage, fire, and smoke to look like the epic final scene. The team had another daunting task of seamlessly integrating the CGI elements of the Black Panther and Killmonger's suits with the live-action footage. To achieve this, they utilized motion capture technology to capture the performances of the real actors and integrated the CGI elements onto the characters in post-production so that they blend seamlessly on the screen. Another interesting sequence is the Warrior Falls scene, where the visual effects team built a 125 foot tall waterfall made of foam in just four months, and it was made to look like the mighty Ariba Gorge in South Africa. Did you notice the red, black, and green dress colors used for the Busan scene worn by Nakia, T'Challa, and Okoye? These colors were chosen to match the Pan-African flag. Nakia's green dress was even 3D printed to be her exact body shape. The visual effects team worked on the Busan car chase scene by digitally creating the featured cars on computer-aided design, or CAD models, and on-set reference. They made several digital renditions of the same car to enable the production crew to perform realistic car crashes and stunts. Afterward, the team integrated the digital versions to enhance these sequences. But what makes all the computer work shine are the actors' stunning performances. To prepare for their roles, the actors underwent extensive physical training and cultural immersion to bring authenticity to their performances. Several actors underwent a rigorous training program that included martial arts, weight training, and a specialized diet to maintain weight. Beyond physical training, the actors also worked with dialect coaches to master the Wakandan accent and learn about African culture and history. And how can we forget Michael B. Jordan, who played Killmonger? Jordan had had intricate and ceremonial tribal markings on his chest and torso. The markings were composed of an astonishing 90 custom silicon molds, each individually sculpted and applied over the course of two and a half hours. And to remove them, a two hour long sauna at the end of each filming day. After such a successful movie, the unexpected passing of Chadwick Boseman in 2020 shocked the world. Bozeman's talent, passion, and kindness had made a lasting impression on his colleagues, and his loss was felt acutely on set. The technology behind Black Panther is truly awe-inspiring, but it's also bittersweet to celebrate without acknowledging the tragic loss of Bozeman. His performance was powerful, dignified, and truly inspiring, and his contribution to the film cannot be overstated. This fact has been kept in mind by all the cast and crew of Black Panther as they created the second installment without him. He may have gone, but his legacy will live on in the hearts of everyone he touched with his characters. Bozeman truly brought Black Panther to life. Rest in peace, Chadwick Bozeman. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting Galore Text videos. Thanks for watching.